coming through the 80s pencil thin brows some trouble started there because brows my brows didn't grow back very well I mean I had gorgeous bushy brows before that and then wave two of the brow trauma was thyroid cancer so I had my thyroid taken out and lost nearly not almost what was left but so much they were thin they were sparse I lost the the tailing third of each brow I lost the insides of my brow and there were like bald spots throughout and I was gonna do microblading mm, I think this was like two years ago because that was a new thing and Olivia from True Brow I told her she said please don't um, we can restore your brows like microblading isn't known it's new but you don't know like what the effect will be as it wears off and it could damage your hair follicles and I was like I don't want to damage any more hair follicles so I've been working with Olivia and it has been a process it wasn't overnight but I have brows now I have I'm like amazed I trust Olivia so I knew she wasn't just selling me something I knew she was telling the truth, but still it was hard to fathom that I could have brows one day. But with the true brow method, I have brows. And this is your natural hair? Yeah. 100%? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel about your brows now? Well, um, honestly, today they're a little bit fuller than I'm used to. So I like them, but it's like looking at a slightly different person in the mirror. And so I'll get used to them. And I, I actually love them though. When I, but when I look, it's kind of like me with brows, like I have brows, I have brows. So there's a person with brows looking back at me in the mirror and that's new. What does that do for your, um, you know, pick a word, self image, self esteem, the way you present, like how, what is, how has it changed that experience for you? Well, the person that I see when I look in the mirror, the person I see with brows, I don't know, honestly, I feel like I look more sophisticated, younger, healthier. Yeah, it's been a long journey with the thyroid issues and, and the havoc it's wreaked on my system and how it's aged me. And having brows is kind of a big thing. Like it makes me feel younger, more vibrant, more defined, I guess. Yeah. Okay, if there was somebody out there exactly where you were, let's say two years ago, mm -hmm. you know, with the same level of, of hair loss mm -hmm. and the same consideration of possibly going the microblading route, mm -hmm. what would you say to her? You know, well, I just, I'm lucky because I have Olivia. I have True Brow. I, I want people to know about True Brow, especially people with hair loss issues, especially people with thyroid issues. I, I just want them to know about True Brow so they know that there is a much better option. And then I would say, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Such a better solution. It's more sustainable. It's long term. It's assured. It's natural. Yeah. Anything else? Any last parting shots? Yeah, I know just that. I mean, I know this sounds cheesy, but these brows feel like a miracle to me. It feels like Olivia worked a miracle on my brows. Those are my parting words. <laughs> Thank you, darling. You're welcome.